I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but sorry I had to drag you. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average. Right. I did. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. Search parties. Shadow Carja. Um, yeah. Well, when I find the soldiers who. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Almost there. Hey, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. It must be I need to find the bastards that did this. Strange. Not a scratch on it. This is the spot where we found Ursa. Where the... I... I'll keep looking. I appreciate it. Those bloodstones are not the kind that would pull around the corpse. They look like smears. Arrows scattered there. They look good as new. Never fired. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point... I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out.
I get why they wanted her. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Full speed, boys! Let's go! Saram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. What are those leather straps? Armor straps, cut with a knife, and a rock with blood on it. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Those rocks, they're shattered.
something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Get where they wanted Ursa dead. Why fake an ambush? These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. Get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush?
Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theory... ...is are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and... ...gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. <laughs> 